Lots of things. I've been in healthcare IT for 23 years and been a lot part of large organizations that didn't have a focus on culture. It, it's definitely a family who's driven toward results, which you don't really see a ton of places. And we like to have a good time, but we, we work hard. Um, and that is how, in my opinion, you get the multiplier effect out of people. And that's my favorite thing, honestly, because what we do will never get old to me. And it can get old to a lot of people, but if you surround yourself by good people, then the work gets a little bit easier. That's my favorite thing. I love uh, our mission. Um, I love that although we don't do it directly, we do it indirectly, we support the patient and protect the patient and we protect the um, employees to make sure that the people that they're bringing in are the right people. I'd have to say what I love the most about Simpler is the people. Uh, I think we have a really great team overall and it makes coming to work really fun. Uh, I think we work well together to get a common mission accomplished. Love Simpler because one of the things that we do is we really help out patients. If you think about it, I'm a patient, my mom's a patient, my dad's a patient, everybody's a patient, and we're trying to keep patients safe. The other thing that I really love about Simpler is that we really at the core of our business is we're trying to make our customers' lives better. We're trying to make them more efficient and we're trying to make it a higher quality of care so that we can improve upon that first piece that I was talking about, that patient. I love that um, my very first job was in uh, medical staff credentialing and I use Cactus. So I love that things come full, full circle and I'm now working at Simpler uh, with teams that are actually supporting that technology. I absolutely love working with our team. We have access to leadership, which is very unique for a large organization. I love the team camaraderie, the atmosphere of the office. It's really nice to come to work and have fun and work with your friends, people that you trust. I love being around people that support us in a sales role and in all aspects of our company. Simpler is the best culture of any company I've ever worked for. All the associates within our company are willing, they have a sense of desire to succeed, and there's a unique camaraderie that people have. It's, it's not like anything else I've ever seen. Problems are opportunities for solutions to be had, and I think most of our associates are unique and want to succeed and, and push forward. So. Honestly, I love the camaraderie and the fact that like there are no like barriers to you know anything that you want to improve overall, and the cross department collaboration is, has been amazing. I think there's two things that I love uh, about Simpler. One is the culture. Um, two would definitely be communication. I think uh, everyone's uh, readily available uh, to talk to, which is great. Um, so those would be my two thing, favorite things about Simpler. So as a kind of a new Simpler employee um, coming from the IntelliSoft side, I mean, everyone has been really amazing to work with. We have three different products, um, and I'm just kind of still learning all of them. Being on the IntelliSoft side, I'm just kind of embracing Cactus and Vistar, but uh, such a team to work with and a great team so far. Everyone's been super positive. What I love about Simpler, I usually think of three things. First is the culture. Um, and by that I mean the people that are there and the attitude that we bring to work. I think it's genuinely a work hard, play hard atmosphere. People, uh, we have a lot to accomplish and people are invested in that, but we like to have fun too. And that balance is something that I think is good for all of us and keeps us coming back. Uh, second is the opportunity. So we're in a market we all believe is huge, that we've tapped into a little bit and we all think there's a lot more out there and that is what makes it really intriguing. And then third, for me, uh, my feet are in the product space. And so uh, where we are with the product and even through acquisition, we have a lot of opportunity ahead uh, to improve. But what I love about it is, is what we have and where we have room to grow. Uh, I absolutely love the people, uh, the people, the culture. Uh, a lot of the staff that I get to work with every day, they're fun, they want to win. Um, they don't take losses e easily, and they're always looking to improve customer sa satisfaction. What I love about working at Simpler is the camaraderie. I love the fact that we all seem to support one another, um, and we work together to get the job done. I think that our customers are at the focal 
um, the center of our organization and I, I can definitely feel the energy around us all working to achieve a common goal. For me, Simpler, obviously the people are really good to work with. Um, what I enjoy the most about it is just honestly all the acquisitions and partnerships we have. Uh, for most people, it creates a lot of chaos, but in the product world, it allows me a lot of integration opportunities um, and ways to uh, integrate and evolve the product further. So. We've brought really good people into the organization. We've leveraged the super smart people we already have in the organization, and in combination, we have built 2019 as a solid foundation for us to hit a goal in 2020, which is exceed and optimize. Like, let's just like full bore go. That's that's kind of been my favorite thing about this year is is making sure that we build and fix the foundation. It could be our best year yet in terms of the improvement we've made to the provider management business. My greatest accomplishment at work, I would say is just so, I'm still kind of a new in my position and just learning a lot more about the software and what it can do. And of course I want to learn what the other softwares can do. I think it's exciting and just finding the right platform from each healthcare industry. I think one of the things I'm most um, kind of feeling good about is there's lots of process improvements that are happening around how we implement and then also things that I've worked on around user voice and how to capture what's going on with clients and what they want to see in the product and then seeing that sort of become part of our process and how we work ac across our different departments has been really nice. Well, I'm in sales, so I think any time uh, a deal is closed, I think that's uh, a great accomplishment, whether it's, you know, uh, a, a small one with uh, 10 providers or, or anything with over, you know, 100 to 1,000. I think for us at Simpler in 2019, the thing we should be most proud of is the fact that we've put a lot of teams in place. We've hired some people who I think are really qualified to engage our customers as well as the processes that we've put in place internally. I think that we're just getting really a lot stronger. My greatest accomplishment in 2019 is really building up the CVO and bringing it to the forefront of our organization. Um, I think for a long time it was kind of pushed off into the back and being a part of IntelliSoft Group and coming into the Simpler family um, has really validated our process and um, it, it's made us feel important and valued. Um, and it's definitely a service that our customers and clients are looking for, and it's fulfilling a need. Um, so I'm excited about that. What I take from Rick a lot of times is he knows who we are and also who we're not. And we need to let that trickle into the product. And so I think what I'm most proud of is we've at least laid the foundation for what that story is. Who we are going to be as a product company and who we're not going to be and where we're going to go in the future. I would have to say the, large, or the best accomplishment for us was, or for myself personally, was being able to bring a reseller channel to Simpler, it was something new that we hadn't done before. Uh, we started it pretty much at the beginning of the year and we've really taken off and brought on about 18 new channel partners. So when they're kind of our advocacy out there in the, in the nation helping us get the word out. Uh, I am so proud of the support teams um, across provider management who have really done an outstanding job of making sure that our customers are satisfied. We actually achieved over 96% customer satisfaction in Q3, which was huge. So i um, very proud of that. Uh, obviously getting hired. Um, Simpler is a great place to work. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've worked more than one job. I know I don't look it, but I'm over 21. And so uh, I've had the opportunity to work in different places. And when you get a little bit older, uh, being a gray beard, they, uh, you know what you wanted, where you want to work and who you want to work for, and this is, this is it. We have done a lot of work around like process improvements. So the ability to have built out the right infrastructure and the plumbing uh, so to be able to like move forward in 2020 is like one of the most amazing things in my opinion. It's been great to see the willingness and the execution of us becoming more mature operationally. I have operations in my blood, but I do think that we've made great strides in creating standardization, that we've had uh, a sense of willingness towards process, continuous improvement. Those are things that I think are really important for us to scale our business uh, going forward. So that would probably be the, the big thing. For me, I actually stepped into a different role temporarily uh, as a program manager and uh, starting that program off for Cactus 5 or the Cactus Initiative 
uh, putting that together and orchestrating that and getting all the teams aligned um, really felt good and it was a step in the right direction. Number one thing that I'm very proud of that we did in 2019 is that we've really improved the customer experience. When we look at how we've improved things in support with callback times and the satisfaction scores that we've been able to do, really improve that experience. And the other thing is customers feel much more collaborative with us, that they have much more of a, a say in the game. When they, when they say something, it's resonating with us and it's, it's not just being tossed into an empty abyss, that it's, it's actually gonna go somewhere. A much more proactive relationship. And I've, I've also hired an amazing, amazing team. We just simply have to execute next year. My team and, and a lot of people in Provider have heard me say, know your role, know your skill, know your people, right? So go get them, man. I, seriously, I, I, I'm a thoroughbred salesperson. I, I, I've done the hunter role, I've done the farmer role, and I'm a hunter by trade. I have that chip on my shoulder when I need to, but support the people around you and don't get distracted, right? A lot, what I do find, um, and this, this is maybe some advice, is I do find that salespeople, because they're really good salespeople, like solving business challenges, um, find themselves looking inward to the organization on how they can help solve our business's challenge. And where we really need these really smart people who are good at that is helping our customers solve those business challenges. So raise your hand, raise the right flag when you feel like you're too busy in ops and not out there like really like pushing hard and selling and helping the, the CXOs of the world and, and our personas that we're chasing solve their challenges, that's where we need your help. And people who are really good at solving business challenges, we need you out there doing that, right? Um, and then providing influence back into the business on where we need help internally because you're feeling it. And then we'll rally and we'll get that solved soon. But it's gonna take a team and that's how it happens. I'm excited to hone in and focus more on quality. I'm actually going to get um, a certificate or trying to in the realm of quality. So I'm really hoping to learn more and it's exciting to feel like the organization wants to grow with me in that direction. Most excited about the potential for growth and the explosion. And the, again, the biggest thing I see coming in next year is probably more acquisitions. And acquisitions are fun. They're a lot of fun. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm most excited for our growth. I think we, uh, we have a lot of room to grow from a product and a customer base, as well as internally, um, working with each other and learning more of how we can build off of our industry knowledge and our team's experiences prior to being at Simpler. So I'm excited for our growth. I think we're going to grow in a lot of ways. The product's only getting better. Our customers are only loving us more, and new customers are only you know, more excited to be here. Uh, building the CBO, I think that's uh, the main thing. Obviously, our providing credentialing services team is great, um, and just kind of educating uh, the organization on, on a, as a whole uh, on simpler CBO is, is what I'm looking forward to. Just uh, ready for 2020, ready to uh, take off the ground and running and, and get this thing going. Well, I'm excited. First of all, the ability to increase the pipeline and actually getting some better capacity view on our projects and uh, the ability to enable our teams to even do the best they can you know, on the field overall. Like I said, I just started demoing over a little over a year ago for IntelliSoft. I love it so far. It's so fun and I just can't wait to learn more about all of our other products and hopefully being able to uh, demo or talk to consumers about what's out there. And specifically, I'm excited about working on Exchange. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunity in the quality space um, that we're going to be looking at here pretty soon too as well. So I'd say those two things combined for me. I'm, I'm looking to taking the infrastructure that we've built within 2019 and then just refining that and then building these relationships with customers and taking that to the next level. But I think really in 2020 it's about that execution. I'm really excited for launching our CVO. We just started it this year, but I think starting 2020 we're going to have the tools, the resources, and the team and education to help us get the brand out there and to get customers excited to be able to send us business. I am so excited about blowing it up. <laughs> I want to definitely bring the CVO into the 21st century. Um, we are working arduously at looking at the various platforms that we have and trying to bring uh, the future of credentialing into one um, system that will meet credentialing from A to Z at all points. So that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to. I think that if we all continue to work together and collaborate and keep the customer at the focal, um, we'll definitely win beyond measure. 
Kicking ass and taking names. I'm excited to um, just see how our teams grow. Um, we have a lot of industry knowledge that we want to gather on our team. Uh, we just want to continue that trend of happy customers. We'd love to end out the whole year, have a whole 12 months of 95% plus customer satisfaction. So that's our goal. Our customers have a lot of uncertainty at times. And if we just get in front of them and have dialogue with them, most of that fear, uncertainty, that doubt goes away just by nature of the trust that we have with them. What I'm most excited about is executing on some of it. So we know we have a lot of building to do. I mean, like a sports team says, it might be a rebuilding year for us, but we can't let it just be an excuse to be really sucky like sports teams do. Um, we have a good idea on the product of what's in front of us, and we've got to go execute and deliver because what's behind that is where it's really exciting. There's a ton of potential, there's exciting stuff to do, we have people ready to do it and people that are going to want to pay for it. So 2020 is where we, we turn it around and get there. You guys are the best. I love most of you. Well, cut. Most proud of in 2020, 20, I'm oh, sorry, is that <laughs> over? Let's so Rick, now that I have you cornered. <laughs> Go Bears. <laughs> cut. <laughs> All right. Okay, Mark, tell me what you love about Simpler. Oh, I'm glad you asked, Alex. I got, I got all on my own head. Let's do it one more time. What's come, come, can we start over? Yeah. <laughs>